You might find that splitting a worksheet can be confusing, and it would be nice to be able to freeze certain rows or columns so that they did not move or scroll. You can do this through the Freeze Panes command located in the View tab of your ribbon in the Windows group. The Freeze Panes is right here. To use the Freeze Panes command, you have to be in the normal page view. Notice that down here in your status bar, you have three different views, normal view, page layout view and page break preview. Make sure you have normal view selected and this command will work for you. If you are in one of the other views it will be grayed out and unaccessible. To freeze your panes you have three options and when I select freeze panes I can freeze panes and keep row and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet scrolls and that is to do both a row and a column or I can freeze just the top row of a worksheet or I can freeze the first column. I'll go ahead and choose freeze the top row for this example worksheet. Here it is and notice when I scroll without splitting my screen I am scrolling through my data without losing my column headings. If I wanted to freeze the first column, I would come over here to my freeze panes and choose freeze first column. And now notice as I scroll to the right, I am not losing my row headings. To unfreeze a frozen pane, come up to your freeze panes button or option and now choose unfreeze panes. This will unfreeze your worksheet and everything will go back to operating as it is by default. Now let me go ahead and open up another worksheet, class example 3. Notice that on this spreadsheet I would like to freeze my column headings which now appear in row 4 as well as all of my row headings here in column A. So to do that I need to tell Excel what row and column I would like it to freeze. Po by positioning my cursor in cell B5 I am indicating to Excel to freeze the row above that which would be row 4 as well as the column directly to the left of this which would be column A. So it will be a freeze from here across in this row and all the way down in this column, column A. I will come up here again to my view tab to freeze panes and choose my first option which will keep both the row and the column visible. Notice that now I get a split right here directly to the left of my active cell and directly above my active cell. And when I scroll either left or down I am not losing my column and row headings. Let's go ahead and apply this to our product list. So go ahead and make your product list active. If you'd like to start with a fresh start file for this lesson, choose 0603 Start from your Chapter 06 directory in your Excel 2007 course folder. With your product list open, make sure you're on the product list tab and what we're going to do is freeze our worksheet right where the split occurs. And so we'll be freezing our column headings. To do that, because we're not freezing the first row or the first column, we need to position our mouse within the worksheet to indicate to Excel where to freeze the column headings. So let's go ahead and set it here in cell A4 and then come up here to your view tab of your ribbon, choose freeze panes and choose the very first one to freeze the panes. Since there is not a column to the left of our active cell, we will only be freezing our column headings. So it will be right where the split occurs. Let's go ahead and select that. Notice we get the thin line indicating that this is frozen and when we scroll down we are not losing our top section and still able to see all of our products with the column headings. Go ahead and save your worksheet and move on to the next movie.